Hi everyone, it's Lisa from I Dream in Soap. Welcome to my channel and thanks for dropping by. Now today's video has come about because of a lot of requests and even some gentle nagging from certain people about creating a dog embed mould since I already have the cat embed mould. So I've been busy and I've created the mould so if you want to get hold of one they are available for sale in the shop and I'll put a link in the description below. So I'm starting off as you normally would by making my dog embed a day before I make the rest of the soap. So here I'm just pouring out enough oils and then lye to make my embed. I do always master batch all of my oils and my lye solution so therefore I can just pour off and use whatever I need when I'm making various different sizes of embeds and soaps and things. Now some of you may have noticed that I've actually changed my scales. Very observant of you, those who have noticed. There was no particular reason for doing that. I had the KD 7000 scales and they were absolutely great. But in the UK, if we sell our soaps, we actually have to have trade approved scales. Not necessarily for making the soap, but for selling the soap. So therefore, these are just my trade approved scales that I'm using. Now for my dog, I actually want to make a German Shepherd dog. So therefore the colours I'm using are some activated charcoal, some golden shimmer from Mica Mama and some titanium dioxide. Now the dog is actually made upside down in the mould. So therefore I'm going to start with the black parts first because I want it to have a black muzzle and also black around the tips of the ears and then also black sort of a patch down the back of the dog. So I've just got um, the amount of soap that I reckon I need for the black areas adding my activated charcoal. And then initially I'm just going to bring it to a light trace. And then I'll add my fragrance oil. Now for my fragrance I'm actually using Prawlings and Cream from Grace Fruit in the UK. And once that's added I just want to blend to just past a thin trace getting on to medium trace because I want this batter to flow nicely into the small parts of the mould, the things like the dog's ears just at the top. So once I'm happy, I'm just going to bring in my mould. I've got it on a chopping board so that I can lift it up when it's all full of that wet soap without damaging the embed. And I'm just going to use a little pipette so I can get right into the smaller areas of the mould. Now this fragrance oil does set up pretty quickly, so by the time I've done the ears, it was thick enough for me to be able to spoon it in, or spatula it in, if that's the thing you do, into the muzzle of the dog without it running down the rest of the mould. And then once that was done, I just needed to then put the rest of that black in to get the black area that goes down the dog's back. And again, this is getting pretty thick now, which is great because I need it to cling to the side of the mould. And once I've got my layer of black in for the back, I'm then just going to go through with a tiny weeny little spatula and just shape it into the sort of patch shape that I want and rough it up a bit so I get sort of like a rough edge between the colours of the dog. Once I was happy with the shape of the black areas, I then just made up my goldy sandy colour soap. 
I added in my fragrant soil and then I split my gold colour out because when you have a look at the coat of a German Shepherd it has some sort of creamy flecks in it in amongst the sort of sandy goldy colours. So I just added in a little touch of titanium dioxide so I had the two different shades of the gold. I had also saved a small amount of black from what I'd used previously and there's no fragrant soil in here so this is still nice and fluid. And what I want to use this for is as I do the initial pour which will go down into the dog's head I want to have some little black streaks going through because the German Shepherds do tend to have some black flecks over and across their head and their face. So I then just filled in the rest of the mould starting with a small amount of the sandy colour and some little dribbles of black to get that streaking effect I want in the head. And then I made my way up through the body of the dog, bringing in some of that creamy coloured soap every now and again, so we've got the mottling in the coat colours. I then let the soap set up a little bit and then I've just used the scraper that comes with the dog mould because I actually want to have the gap between the belly and the dog's legs. Now you don't necessarily need to do this, I just think it gives um, a better image of the dog if you do. So once that was done I just covered the embed and sea popped it as normal and left it to sit overnight and I'll mould the next day. So the next day to make the rest of my soap I'm just going to do sort of a basic landscape scene around the dog so I want to have a sky blue that I make with a combination of shimmer blue from Mica Mama and some titanium dioxide I mix that in equal one to one parts and then for the grass I want it to have two different colours so I'm going to have some lime from You Make It Up and some emerald green from the soapery. I'm also going to be using some titanium dioxide on its own to put some clouds in the sky. So I've worked out how much soap I'm going to need to do my sort of grassy type layer so I've made up just a small amount of batter and I'm going to mix that with my two different greens. I've already dispersed my mica in some oil like I always do so I can just hand stir these into the batter. Now I am going to take off just a very small amount of each of these colours and add my fragrance oil just to this tiny weeny little bit. Remember this fragrance oil does accelerate quite quickly so this is going to start to get thick before the other two portions. And then I'm going to take my embed mould which I've unmoulded and I've just kept wrapped in some film so that it doesn't dry out too much. And then just taking a tea towel so that the embed doesn't get damaged I'm going to turn it upside down so it's standing on its ears and just give it a little bit of support and what I want to do is fill in that gap between the belly and the legs with the grass colour. I'm just doing this as a precaution so that I make sure I don't have any air gaps and holes in my soap because the soap may not flow through underneath the dog. Then I'll just add my fragrance oil to the other portions of that green soap. I'll get that thoroughly mixed in and then I'm just going to do an in the pot swirl with these two greens and then pour that in to get the grassy layer around the dog. I let my greens set up for a little while and then I just sculpted them into the shape that I wanted for that first green grassy layer. I 
I then just finished off the inside of the soap by mixing up the rest of my batter, the majority of it in the blue colour that I want for my sky, and then a smaller proportion just in white to create the clouds. Now I did have my batter at a reasonably thick trace for this pour. I probably could have done with it a little bit thinner, but I wanted to make sure that the clouds suspended in the blue sky rather than just mixing all in and not being very distinct. And then as I got to the end of the Porsche, you can see everything was really quite thick. So I gave it a good old bang down to make sure I'd got rid of any air bubbles and then just flattened the surface off with a palette knife. And then finally, because I was never going to get it completely flat, I just did some gentle little squiggles. I'm going to put some embeds on the top anyway, so this doesn't really matter. Now I want to have some tiny little dog bones all over the top of the soap, so I'm going to extrude them with my dog bone extruder. Of course you can get it in the shop if you want one. Now I did actually do this a few hours ago because I wanted the extruded soap dough to set up a bit so that it was firm and didn't ruin the shape of the dog bones when I sliced it into tiny little pieces. So it's pretty straightforward, just extrude some soap dough through the extruder disc and then just straighten it up and leave it to set for a few hours. And then once they were firm enough, I just cut them into tiny little slices and just need to pop them on the top of the soap. Now I always find when you're dealing with teeny weeny little embeds like this, that it's really useful to use appropriately sized tweezers. Now every time I'm using my appropriately sized tweezers it always makes me think of one of my very favourite videos. I'm going to link it in the description below and if you want a good laugh you need to go and have a look at it. So I'll just speed this up because I'm sure you don't need to see me place every single little dog bone on the top of the soap. Once we're all done I'll just put the lid on the mould and cover it and then it just gets sea popped overnight and we'll unmould it the next day. Okay so the cut, you got to be fast to catch it. It was one of those days merrily cutting the soap and then just before I got to the end of the bar I looked up and the camera screen was black so I wasn't recording it I'm really sorry so here's a mini bit of the cut the last couple of the bars and then we'll have a look at some of the finished soaps. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you like the soap. If you have, it would be great if you left me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see what I'm making in the future, why not subscribe to my channel? And don't forget, if you want to have a giggle, make sure you have a look at that video that I've linked in the description below. Thanks for watching everyone. Happy soaping!